being even very slightly out of focus when you're doing astro imaging can be a nightmare for your final result. And with the Dwarf 2 telescope, it can be a challenge. If you'd like to learn how to get the perfect focus every single time with the Dwarf 2 telescope, keep watching and I'll show you how. nice and sharp focus every time we're using a Dwarf 2 telescope and doing our astrophotography. We're going to use this little handy device, a little filter or mask, it's actually called a Bathnoff mask. It's 1.25 inch, it just goes on to your filter holder over the telephoto lens side of it, um, just like so. Let me just put that on for you. There you are, it's as simple as that. I'll put it a bit closer so you can see the design. There you go. This is just going to go on to our Dwarf 2 telescope here and then we would do our focusing. Now I was out last night uh, with the Dwarf 2. I tried autofocus with very, very limited success. Um, I then had to try manual focus, but again, you're not sure if your manual focus is making it worse or if it's making it better. But there's a little bit of guesswork involved. With the Bachtoff mask, you'll get this perfect focus every single time. Uh, I then spent some time imaging uh, M8-1, the Bode's Galaxy, with that super sharp focus and allowed me to have a very, very nice image. Let me show you now. Right, so here we are looking at a bright star in the night sky. I'll zoom right in and we're going to have a look at the autofocus which you can see has certainly tried to focus but if we zoom out you can tell that that's quite elongated so that's not brilliant of course what we can do we can manually focus using the plus and minus keys but we're not exactly sure where we are i think that's not bad now if i try the autofocus again zoomed out didn't work at all so man try the autofocus again that's a certainly an improvement that's as good as it gets so what we're going to use now batten off focusing mask uh, which I put in the light so you can see it, uh, which I 3D printed. Right, we're going to put this on a dwarf too. So that's on the dwarf too. Uh, let's zoom in again. And I'm going to zoom right in. Now I'm going to start manually focusing. Now you can just start to see the star shape appear so when the lines in the middle so it's not too far left or right um that should be at focus if i keep focusing one side you see the central line moves to the left if i focus the other way that central line's moving to the right if i put that line right in the middle which is there it's okay let's try again so that's clearly focusing too much one way that's clearly focusing too much the other way that looks perfect. So that is the sharpest possible image of this bright star in the night sky. So let's take the Bachtonoff mask off. Okay. And if I zoom out now, uh, we can see that that looks definitely sharper then when we try to autofocus. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'll wait for the skies to get a bit darker, try the autofocus, use the battle of mass to improve it, uh, and then see if we can get some nice sharp images. If you don't have good focus, you won't get good images, whether it's stars, star clusters, whether it's galaxies, nebula. Obviously, the better the focus, the sharper the image, uh, and that's really what we're after when we're doing astrophotography. Okay, so here we have a fairly bright star, Let's try the autofocus. That's as in focus now. Now that's still trying. It's done. Now that doesn't look too bad. If we zoom in. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really not bad at all. 
that's that star there. Now I'm going to put the bat on off mask on and we'll see how the autofocus is done. That's the mask on. Well, that's not bad at all, is it? I think it maybe is slightly out of focus. Other way. That's where it was. It was literally one notch out of focus. So, you can see the advantage of the batten off mask, you get exactly on the focus. If we're going to do good astrophotography, we, get, we need good focus, it's as simple as that. And that is looking fantastic now. So let me zoom back out. I'll take off the batten off mask. And there we have a perfectly in focused star field. I'm going to run the calibration, so features, calibrate, confirm. So that's the runner's first calibration. Unfortunately, it's getting the, the BT lines above my head as well, but it seemed to not matter. It's nicely in focus like this. I should be able to play it solve quite easily. There we go. Lovely. No mucking around. Can I go to? Let's do the Bud's Galaxy. Uh, which is M81. Let's do the go to on that. Confirm. That's it panning around. To M81. Bud's Galaxy. This, and play it solve in. And that's done. Let's uh, set this up. So if it's say 50, let's go and go for 15 seconds, 50 again. Let's check our features. More. And we'll just leave that like that right now. Now you can see that's obviously overexposed, but the stacking should fix this. So let's start our stacking. Let's get rid of that. Okay, we're imaging, we're not stacking yet. 15 second exposures, 50 gain only. One image is taken. The second image takes, it should stack and we should get rid of light noise in the background there. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. You can see the Bud's Galaxy M81 nicely and its sister galaxy next to it. And we'll do a little zoom in. I don't want to lose a lot of the star field. Okay. Let's let this run and see how nice this image is.
Okay, here you can see I finished. Uh, I did 200 uh, images stacked. Uh, this is just within the Dwarf 2 software. You can see I'm playing with the stretch and the light curves a little here just to try and bring out the uh, galaxy into the foreground and drop the noise in the background to give me a slightly better contrast and resolution on the image. But very happy with this. I've just taken a photo of that. Um, yeah, fantastic image, very sharp stars. Um, nice clean image of the galaxy itself using the bath north mass to get the best focus possible for uh, astral imaging and astral photography so very happy with this indeed uh, i suggest if you haven't got a bath north mass they're very cheap you should get yourself one and make uh, focusing on your dwarf 2 telescope a lot easier right well i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, if you have please don't forget to like um, and subscribe um, and look out for more content i will be bringing out um, as the skies allow so remember don't forget to look up as you don't know what you might just see thanks very much take care bye